The Formula One paddock is once again buzzing with whispers as McLaren eyes a potential shift in its engine partnership for the new regulations period set to begin in 2026. While the Woking-based team extended its deal with Mercedes until 2030 just last November, the winds of change are sweeping through the sport. McLaren's flirtation with other engine suppliers, most notably the newly formed Red Bull powertrains in collaboration with Ford, suggests that the team may be far from satisfied with its current arrangement. At the heart of these developments is McLaren CEO Zach Brown, a man who has never been afraid to make bold moves to secure his team's future. While the Mercedes partnership has brought stability and competitive power units to McLaren in recent years, the forthcoming technical regulations in 2026 will introduce a fresh set of challenges and opportunities. The 2026 power units will be more complex than ever, featuring increased electrification and sustainable fuels. McLaren, and indeed other customer teams, teams like Williams are understandably nervous about whether Mercedes can continue to supply multiple teams effectively under these new rules. Currently, Mercedes supplies engines to both McLaren and Williams. With Aston Martin set to transition to Honda power units in 2026, Mercedes finds itself in a precarious position. Losing McLaren as a customer would be a severe blow to its standing in the paddock. Toto Wolff, Mercedes team principal and CEO, has spent much of the 2024 season hyping the German and manufacturers' plans for the 2026 power units. He has touted the future engine program as an engineering marvel that will redefine Formula One's power unit landscape, suggesting that Mercedes is all in on this new era. But beneath the public optimism, there is genuine concern within the Mercedes camp. The new regulations demand a more intricate hybrid system that will stretch the capabilities of even the most advanced engine manufacturers. Can Mercedes handle developing and supplying engines to multiple teams, each with its own demands, while also keeping up with its own works team. The question is not just technical, it's strategic. Losing McLaren would signal a shift in the power dynamics of Formula One. McLaren is not just another customer, it's a historically significant team that has the pedigree to compete for championships. The idea of Mercedes relinquishing its grasp on such an influential partner must be weighing heavily on Wolf. If McLaren jumps ship to Red Bull powertrains, it would leave Mercedes with only Williams, a team still finding its way back to competitiveness as its sole customer. Such a scenario would diminish Mercedes' influence over the sport and could disrupt its financial and strategic position. While Toto Wolff fights to retain McLaren's loyalty, Zach Brown has already been seen exploring his options. His visit to Red Bull Powertrain's headquarters, where he was reportedly given a tour of the facility, has set tongues wagging across the F1 world. Brown openly admits to having a strong friendship with Ford CEO Jim Farley, adding an interesting wrinkle to this development story. I have a great relationship with Jim, Brown said recently. We met and visited the factory. That was after we decided to extend our contract with Mercedes. This connection could be more significant than a mere friendly visit. Brown and Farley share a mutual admiration for motorsport and innovation, which could lay the groundwork for a more formal collaboration. Ford's return to F1 as a technical partner with Red Bull offers an attractive proposition for McLaren. The American manufacturer brings decades of automotive engineering experience and a racing pedigree that aligns with McLaren's pursuit of excellence. Brown, always one to keep his options open, may see this as an opportunity to break free from the limitations of being a Mercedes customer team. But a potential deal with Ford and Red Bull powertrains isn't just about the engines, it's about autonomy and strategic partnerships. In the current setup, Mercedes engines come with constraints, primarily because McLaren must design its car around the engine specifications, while the works Mercedes team gets priority on the latest upgrades. A bespoke engine supply deal with Ford would offer McLaren a greater degree of independence, allowing it to tailor its car's design more closely to its specific needs. Christian Horner, Red Bull Racing's outspoken team boss, has found himself in an interesting position. Over the years, his relationship with Zach Brown has been nothing short of frosty, with both often taking verbal jabs at each other through the media. Now Horner is watching from the sidelines as his team's engine partner, Red Bull Powertrains, courts one of his fiercest rivals. It's a peculiar situation where Horner has little say in the matter. The Red Bull Ford engine program is separate from Red Bull Racing's direct control. Brown himself hinted at this complex relationship when he remarked, I don't think I'd like to be seen at Red Bull's factory at the moment. It was a tongue-in-cheek admission that McLaren's interest in Red Bull powertrains could unsettle the political dynamics within the paddock. While Horner might not relish the idea of a McLaren partnership, he is powerless to stop it. Red Bull powertrains operates as an independent engine supplier, which means they are free 
free to sign deals with other teams without needing Horner's blessing. While much of the focus has been on McLaren's potential departure from Mercedes, the situation has implications for Williams as well. Williams has relied on Mercedes engines for years, forming a critical part of its recovery strategy after a prolonged slump. However, with the new 2026 power units on the horizon, Williams is facing the same concerns as McLaren. Can Mercedes realistically supply and support multiple customer teams while navigating the technical challenges of the new regulations? If McLaren chooses to abandon Mercedes in favour of Ford, Williams might find itself questioning its own loyalties. Would they too be tempted to explore a Red Bull powertrain's Ford alliance, or perhaps even rekindle ties with other manufacturers like Renault if they ever ramp up their engine programme again? The entire grid could be shaken if McLaren sets the precedent for a new supplier alliance. All these speculative moves are taking place against the backdrop of the FIA's evolving regulations. The 2026 engine rules are designed to push Formula One into a new era of sustainability, focusing on increased electric power, 100% sustainable fuels and cost controls. This means the new power units will be more technologically advanced and demanding to develop. This reality has raised the stakes for all teams, especially the customer ones. In past eras, being a customer team was less of a disadvantage. You simply bolted in the engine and went racing. But in the new age of F1, the integration between power unit and chassis is so intricate that customer teams often find themselves a step behind the works teams. For McLaren, the opportunity to work closely with Ford and Red Bull powertrains on a more customised power unit could be the game-changer it needs to break into the championship battle once again. If McLaren does make the switch to Ford, the ramifications will extend far beyond the Woking team's garage. Such a move would effectively send a signal to the rest of the grid that Mercedes might no longer be the ultimate power unit provider. Toto Wolff's public assurances and promotional hype around the 2026 engine program would be seen as increasingly hollow if he loses yet another high-profile customer in McLaren. But more intriguingly, a McLaren-Ford partnership could represent a new dawn for Formula One engine dynamics. Ford's return would bring a new competitive element, challenging the dominance of established manufacturers like Mercedes, Ferrari and Honda. It could even lure other automotive giants to consider entering the sport, drawn by the new regulations and the prospect of competing with a proven player like Ford. The friendship between Zach Brown and Jim Farley could prove to be the catalyst for this seismic shift. They share a vision of pushing boundaries and taking calculated risks, a mindset that could very well reshape the F1 engine supply landscape. While the Mercedes-McLaren partnership has a storied history, Formula One is a sport that never stops evolving, and it seems McLaren is ready to evolve with it, even if that means parting ways with its long-time ally. In the end, Formula One is a high-stakes game where the rewards are immense but the risks are equally daunting. McLaren, with Zac Brown at the helm, appears ready to roll the dice for a future that could see them emerge as a championship contender once again, powered by the might of Ford and Red Bull powertrains. As the clock ticks towards 2026, the paddock waits with bated breath for McLaren's next move.